Hello! I've just nipped in quick before the opening credits to remind you that if you've got one of these, a palm cross, it would be really helpful if you had it with you. So perhaps you could go and find it now. Hosanna in the highest Let the music bring us Hosanna in the highest Let the people sing out Oh, you hills and valleys Dig your nose Speed I walk into you now Oh, you towns and cities Dig your nose Voices calling to you now Hosanna in the highest Let the music ring out Hosanna in the highest Let the people sing out Welcome to the Brynamore Mission Area and the Prostatin Church in Wales service for Palm Sunday. I hope you've got your palm crosses or palm branches even available. And if you'd like to hold them up now, let's say a short prayer of blessing upon them. God, our Saviour, entered Jerusalem as Messiah to suffer and to die. Let these palms be for each of us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our King and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Well, now we've got our palm crosses, let's use them. I want to encourage you to sort of brandish them and put them in places where they can be seen. Indeed, even now, why don't you dash to a window and have a wave? Behold, your king comes to you meek and lowly, sitting upon an ass. Ride on in the cause of truth and for the sake of justice. For your throne is the throne of God. It endures forever and the scepter of your kingdom is a righteous scepter. You have loved righteousness and hated evil. Therefore God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellow. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Well done if you did that. How about now going to a door and doing the same? Today we recall how Christ entered his city to complete his work as our saviour, to suffer, to die and to rise again. Let us go with him in faith and love, so that united with him in his sufferings, we may share his risen life. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Well done if you did that. Let's hear now our Gospel reading. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John chapter 12 verses 12 to 16. Glory to you, O Lord. The next day, the great crowd that had come for the festival heard that Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. They took palm branches and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the King of Israel. 
Jesus found a young donkey and sat upon it, as it is written, Do not be afraid, daughter Zion. See, your king is coming, seated on a donkey's colt. At first, his disciples did not understand all this. Only after Jesus was glorified did they realise that these things had been written about him and that these things had been done to him. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. So we're reminded that it's a festival, a celebration. And so waving our palm crosses may seem a little bit frivolous, but hopefully it'll just help us realise that this is something worth celebrating and being happy about. Indeed, in some traditions, there is a, a Palm Sunday procession with donkey and with palm crosses galore. And I've been part of many of those through small villages particularly. Maybe if there's more than one of you in your household today, you could have a bit of a, a procession around the, your space, your room or wherever. And if you feel particularly joyful, how about a bit of a conga? <laughs> I wonder if ever there has been a conga to all glory, Lord and honour. Well, why not give it a try?
Let us pray for a closer union with Christ in his suffering and in his glory. True and humble King, hailed by the crowd as Messiah, grant us the faith to know you and love you, that we may be found beside you on the way of the cross, which is the path of glory. Amen. Isaiah 50 verses 4 to 9 The Sovereign Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue to know the word that sustains the weary. He wakens me morning by morning, wakens my ear to listen like one being instructed. The Sovereign Lord has opened my ears. I have not been rebellious. I have not turned away. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Because the Sovereign Lord helps me, I will not be disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know I will not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who then will bring charges against me? Let us face each other. Who is my accuser? Let him confront me. It is the Sovereign Lord who helps me, who will condemn me. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So what's the point of Palm Sunday? Surely Jesus riding on an ass into Jerusalem can't be that much of a spectacle. Not like the grandeur of a soldier upon a, a, a preened stallion. That would be far more impressive. But Jesus didn't aim to impress. He wanted to underline that he was fulfilling all that had been foretold so that it wasn't an accident that he was there. And that as God had, through the prophets, given glimpses as to how the Messiah would be, fulfilled. Jesus fulfilled them all. Much of Jesus' ministry had been as signs of that messianic ministry. Where he was born, that was foretold. The miracles he often referred to as signs, and indeed how he would be lifted up in terms of his death. Now the ordinary person in the street possibly wouldn't know all those finer details, but what had filtered down was this expectation that the Messiah would come riding on a donkey. And so the word spread, there was a buzz and people gathered and they had to make impromptu flags, as it were, by the palm branches that they were able to pull off the trees round and about. I want to suggest that in this Holy Week, if we get our rejoicing right on Palm Sunday, the sense of celebration that the Messiah is here, then that will help us get the solemnity of his suffering more right. So if we get the awfulness of his passion and the, the trial and torture that he went through before his death, then I think the awesomeness of his resurrection will resonate that much more for us. Now the passage we've just heard from Isaiah has many references that can be seen as prophetic and lived out, as it were, in the, the life of Jesus. It speaks of, the Lord has given me a well-instructed tongue. Well, we know that from a young boy, Jesus was well instructed that he had uh, read the scriptures as they had them at the time and probably learned them off by heart and was now explaining them to those older than him. He spoke as one with understanding. Jesus was such an enigmatic figure. Every word, every action seems to be considered and measured and meaningful. Perhaps we should all pray for well-instructed tongues too. So long as our motivation is genuine, 
wanting to be clear and reliable mouthpieces for whatever God wants us to say and not just wanting it to make us look good or enigmatic too. The more I pray and ponder a while with God, the better I am as a mouthpiece for him. And indeed, the more I seek his Holy Spirit when I read scripture, the more it comes alive for me and I hope for you too. I was part of a, a Bible study recently online and it was a very familiar passage, the life of Joseph, he of Technicolor Dreamcoat fame. And so it was a passage I thought I knew quite well. But well, my eyes were opened yet again to more that could be gleaned from that passage. And I was humbled and inspired by that experience. Humble and inspired. That's probably a good description for Jesus on the donkey. Again from Isaiah, I set my face like flint, which is a phrase that I recall from a Christian song, another penned by Graham Kendrick. We shall stand with our feet on the rock, whatever men may say, we'll lift your name on high. And it continues, setting our faces like flint, we'll walk into the light. It speaks of perseverance, of determination and pure grit to follow through a task. I'm sure there would have been the human temptations to well, call in sick, not be there, just stay in the hills with me friends or with, with his friends, especially knowing what lay ahead. Yet he set his face and carried out all that was necessary. Keep praying and carry on. It got noticed that he was fulfilling the prophecies and challenging the status quo that the religious leaders had slipped into with their Roman governors. A further quote from the Isaiah passage. It is the sovereign Lord who helps me, who will condemn me. With all that was about to happen, Jesus must have felt physically fragile and vulnerable, open to accusation and abuse, expecting to be denounced and rejected. So how could he put on a brave face knowing what was to come? Only by the fact that he wasn't alone, that his Father, the Holy Spirit, were both part of his experience right up until the cross. The accusations and condemnations were without substance. So who condemned him? All that is evil, all that represents corruption and distortion of truth, all that was holding on to earthly power. They threw everything they could at him and it just wasn't enough. Still, even knowing that, it took a great trust, great love, great vision to go through it all. Jesus was humble and inspired, riding a donkey in humility and fulfilling prophecy, setting his face like flint with determination and trust, supported by God against all the challenges and abuse. God was with him in his suffering and in his victory. We will probably not have to ride a donkey into Jerusalem, but we should seek to be humble and inspired. And we'll pray about those things in a few minutes. But first the song Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the Highest, sung by an international youth gathering. Hosanna, 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 no pongo ceso. Hosanna, 
pray for forgiveness for the many times we have denied Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For grace to seek out those habits of sin which mean spiritual death, and by prayer and self-discipline to overcome them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For Christian people that through the suffering of disunity there may grow a rich union in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who make laws, interpret them and administer them, that our common life may be ordered in justice and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who still make Jerusalem a battleground, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who have the courage and honesty to work openly for justice and peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those in the darkness and agony of isolation, that they may find support and encouragement, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who weighed down with hardship, failure or sorrow, feel that God is far from them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who are tempted to give up the way of the cross, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we, with those who have died in faith, may find mercy in the day of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray for those on our prayer board this week. For Lewis, Jean, Dolly and Jenny, for Coralie in hospital, for Elsie, for Janet, for Malcolm, for Lizzie, for Jill, Janet, Mary and Betty, for Brenda and David, Catherine and Jasmine, and for Maureen, also in hospital, and Tom. For Kelvin, for Matthew, for Sheena, for Maury, for Anne-Marie, for Marlene, 
Joan and Sarah. Lord, please minister to their needs and bring them your healing. And we pray, Lord, for all that this Holy Week and Easter might be really meaningful, that they might engage, that we might engage with all that you went through, Lord Jesus. Please meet with us closely and touch us deeply, we ask, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me just tell you about the Prostatin Easter Pebble Dash. This is a great variation on an Easter egg hunt. On Easter Sunday morning, there'll be a map on the Prostatin Church in Wales Facebook page, which will show which of the public spaces there are some specially painted pebbles. And then children are invited with, with parents, with families, to go and look for them. And when they've chosen one, they can come and exchange it that same afternoon between one and three at two exchange points for a chocolate egg. Now there's a limited number of pebbles, but there's an egg for everyone. So do be part of this Prostatin Easter Pebble Dash, where a rolled stone is good news. I'd like to just give another plug for the unanswered prayer course. Thank you to those who joined me last Wednesday to recap on the first prayer course. I think we had a good time and I found it personally very helpful. So from Wednesday and each day through to Easter Sunday at four o'clock, there will be this Zoom course for an hour, which is uh, some video uh, from Pete Gregg, who is the founder of the 24-7 prayer movement helping us to tackle, well, the difficult side of prayer, when not just that we don't get what we want, but we don't seem to be getting what we think we need, and we're struggling with that. And so set against the framework of the key events of Good Friday, this I think is a very powerful and helpful course. So do come and join us on Zoom uh, for that video, a time to chat and a time to pray each day. And that begins at 4pm on Wednesday the 31st of March. There are lots of online resources for Holy Week this year. Uh, the Cathedral has a full range of services and across the mission area there are various services as well. From Prostatin I'll be offering on Monday Thursday a short communion followed by the stripping of the altar which is the most sort of formal of uh, services and traditions that I follow. And then on Good Friday, I'll be re-sharing the uh, Stations of the Cross from last year, but I also will offer some new thoughts and reflections through uh, a programme called What's So Good About Friday? And then on Easter Day at 9.30, there will be a short Holy Communion. And then at 10 a.m., there'll be an all-age celebration for Easter. So do join us for those, if you will, throughout this coming week. Now may the Father who so loved the world that he gave his only Son bring you by faith to his eternal life. Amen. May Christ, who accepted the cup of sacrifice in obedience to the Father's will, keep you steadfast as you walk with him the way of the cross. Amen. May the Spirit, who strengthens us to suffer with Christ, that we may share his glory, set your minds on life and peace. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, thank you for being part of this Palm Sunday celebration. I hope it has set you up for Holy Week and the the sombre tones that are to follow. So do have a meaningful Holy Week and I pray a joyful Easter. Keep safe, keep praying and keep close to Jesus. Hosanna in the highest let the music bring us Hosanna in the highest Let the people sing out Oh you hills and valleys Digging gnomes We are walking to you now Oh you town and cities Digging gnomes 
voices calling to you now. Hosanna in the highest, let the music ring out. Hosanna in the highest, let the people sing out. Brothers get together, we are marching to a better land. Brothers get together. Take your brother and your sister by the hand Hosanna in the highest Let the music ring out Hosanna in the highest Let the people sing out Hosanna in the highest Let the music ring out 